When you post something online, a picture, an article, or your own creativity, you automatically own an all-rights-reserved copyright to it. This means that you own the rights to make or give out copies, show, or remix your work. If anyone else wants to do any of these things, they have to come and ask you for permission. This protects your content from being used in ways that you don't agree with, and this can be good, but sometimes it's too much. There's so much creativity in the world, so what if you want people to be able to use your work? What if you want your work to be shared to others, and for them to be able to remix and build on it, without having to come all the way and ask you for permission? Or, what if you want to be able to use others' work, in ways that you know are right? Well, that's why Creative Commons exists. Creative Commons, or CC for short, is an organization that provides free copyright licenses. These licenses are like labels, which tells others exactly what parts of your copyright you allow, or exactly how you allow others to use your work. It's simple, clear, easy, and free. This allows proper sharing of yours and others' work through legal tools, and giving you flexibility in allowing what others do with your work, instead of putting a full license onto it. It allows so much more creativity, in a way where we can all understand. Creative Commons doesn't get rid of your copyright, it refines it. So, why does this matter to you? Well, you should be using CC licenses too, because it's a great way to make sure people use your work correctly in ways you agree with. But obviously, to be able to use them, we must know what they are. So, CC has four license elements. They all stand for different things and are attribution. And if you label your work with this, it means that others must credit you as the original creator of the content. Non-commercial, which means that others cannot use your work if the aim is for commercial advantage or making money. Non-derivatives, which means that others can share your work, but they can't change or adapt or remix it and share alike, which means that those who remixed or adapted your work have to share it under the same CC license as you did. The different elements combine to make certain combinations called licenses. A CC license is a combination of its elements, and labels exactly what you allow others to do with your work. Here are the six official CC licenses that have been made. They are the combinations of license elements which make sense. If you want to know exactly what each of these licenses mean, then you can click here on the screen or the link below the video. So, how exactly can you use these licenses on your work? Well, you have to do something called marking your work. Whenever you mark your work with a CC license, make sure it contains ALM. This stands for author, so whoever made the work and who the user should credit for. License, so exactly how the work can be used, so showing the CC license clearly and machine readability, which means having engines and softwares being able to identify and detect the CC license. This will only work if you use an HTML code or if you upload your work on a CC supported website, so sometimes this can't be done, but try your best. If you want to add a CC license to your images, it's really easy to find an image sharing site which has built-in CC licensing, like Flickr, and upload your content there. Flickr is CC supportive, which means that you can license your work with CC licenses right on the site, like this. Just choose the license you want, and anyone else who views your photo will see that license. If you don't want to use a CC supportive site, state and if possible link the license name you want to use clearly near the picture. If you're not sure about which license you think is right for you, then just go to the CC license chooser and that way you will be able to generate a license according to what you want. Presentations, videos, and audio can also be uploaded to CC supportive sites, and tons of these sites exist. You can also add the name of the license you are using in the title of your work to clearly show it. Here is a good example which says the license CCBY in the title of the work. You can also go to the Creative Commons website and find the CC video bumpers. These are slides made by CC to visually and clearly state the license you are using. And you can add these to the end of your presentation or video. You can also use a CC intro bumper which is the same thing but as an audio clip. You can make your own bumpers too, just as long as they include ALM. These are just some ways of marking common work styles. If you need more information, click the link here or at the end of the video along with this link for a list of all the sites that have built-in CC licenses that are suitable for you. As you can see, this is all super easy. 
So, what if you want to use others' content under correct CC licenses? Here are some good sites that will help you. Creative Commons Search is a great site for you to search for different types of Creative Commons work because they connect with all these different CC supportive sites. Comfite is great for searching up images with CC licenses because they link and show work from Flickr. Those two sites are just examples. Click here for a larger list that includes many more sites for all different types of content, which is also available at the end of the video. But remember, sometimes these sites aren't 100% accurate, so just make sure that you check the content again before you use it. Also click here to learn how to credit others when you use their work. So from this, we can learn that Creative Commons is important because it's a fantastic tool we can use to help us refine our copyright. This helps us have better ownership over our work because we have more control on what we allow others to do. And it's also great for others who want to be more creative for what we can offer. It's so simple and easy, and you can use Creative Commons in just a couple of clicks. So why not start now?